Excel Cube Pivot Views are designed to provide a flexible way of reporting on flat data, typically retrieved from a multi-dimensional database such as SQL Server, which I'm connected to in this workbook. When I go to insert a grid, I am presented with the editor and can define my query as needed. Excel Cube will then automatically generate a pivot view based on the query results, initially treating text fields as hierarchies and numeric fields as measures. This gives a flat view of the data. Each category has only two levels, the All level and each individual member underneath it. We can, however, build multi-level hierarchies, which will enable better hierarchy navigation and drilling. To do this, go into the Connections dialog and edit the existing pivot view, which was created when we inserted the grid. We can now see all of the fields that are available and the hierarchies that have automatically been created. We currently have distinct hierarchies for product categories and product model, where it would make more sense to have them as two levels of the same hierarchy. To change this, simply drag the model category from the available fields and drop it onto the existing product category hierarchy. This will add model as the level underneath product category, but I can easily drag and drop to rearrange the ordering. I can rename where appropriate and delete the previous model hierarchy. It is also possible to create levels within the date hierarchy. Drag and drop the date field into the hierarchy to add more levels. Now we can add a calculation to each level so that it returns the relevant date structure. We can now build a grid on this pivot view. In the grid designer, we have one hierarchy for products with two levels. Similarly, in the date hierarchy, we have the four levels that we defined earlier. I am able to navigate through and drill into these levels as usual. It is now also possible to create a custom calculation on this view. Go into the Calculations dialog and add a new calculated member. I can use the measures and hierarchies already defined in the pivot view, shown on the left. I will create a calculation which is the sum of all mountain bikes and place it as child of the bikes member. I can now use this calculation within the report. Go back into the grid designer and change the product selection to mountain bikes. This calculation will then also carry through when I drill into the date hierarchy. 